Pete with Lee's Global Tackle. Just got our new Japanese order. I'm gonna go through that with you. But first of all, I'd like to say congratulations to the Nabu Karita of Japan for the uh, official world record bat. The product I'd like to start off with is the Garage Craft Imakatsu Harry Hog. This is the four inch bait. Imakatsu is one of the leading soft plastic manufacturers of Japan. Some of the features of the Harry Hog are the at the top, you have the imitation claws. You got a skirt up here, almost like a tube jig skirt. The body has a bunch of little tentacles sticking off, which is great for water displacement and putting vibration. And the bottom, or depending on how you rig it, could be the top, there are two thin twister tails. Now, two ways that are most popular for rigging it are Texas rig and also with the jig head. One of the more popular jig heads that a lot of people have been using with this particular uh, Harry Hog is the, uh, it's the Chopper's jig heads, their stand-up model. You thread it in whichever way you want to go. That's how you rig it. Let me show you two of the other colors that we have in. This is a green pumpkin with blue flake. And this is a water... What we brought over from Japan are the Depths Hyper Football Jigs. These are similar to the Headlock Jigs, which you can take a look. We've been bringing them in for a long time. They're very popular. Actually, uh, Jason Knapp won uh, one of the Northern Bassmaster Opens last year on Lake Champlain using that Headlock Jig. Now, if you look here, this is the Depths Hyper Football Jig, and this is the Depths Headlock Jig. If you take a look, these are both half ounce jigs, but if you look at the, the jig head style, this is a narrower, longer profile, and this is a shorter, stouter profile. Also with the headlock jig, this is what I was pointing out earlier, is you get a lot. Some of the other stock that we got in from Japan is a refresh uh, stock on our headlock jigs. This is our probably our most popular jig. This is now you've all heard of Mega Bass, one of the leading manufacturers of bass fishing tackle from Japan. It's one of the most popular bass fishing uh, tackle manufacturers from Japan. They make premium rods, premium reels, hard baits. They're vile soft plastic baits. But did you know they also make jig heads? This is the Viper Red. It's got a little bit of black on the bottom. Very red skirt, red jig head. It also has a clear weed guard on it. There's the watermelon, watermelon skirt, watermelon jig head with a black weed guard. This is purple and black, black jig head with a black skirt. This is their all black with a black jig head and a black skirt. This is brown and watermelon with a black jig head and a black skirt. You look at the jig head in shape, which it allows it to stand up and roll over rock, and stumps, logs, whatever's down there. It's got a very stout weed guard, but it's also very flexible. It's molded into the jig head. You can take a look at that. And one of the other nice features is the very small, stout hook. Now from Jacko Brothers, Lake Police, located on the shores of Lake Biwa in Japan, home of the new world record largemouth bass, we brought over the Super Pintail Shad. Truly a remarkable bait. It's a very soft plastic, hand poured, realistic drop shot bait. Now, the difference between this and a lot of other hand pours is the detail on these baits. You, could, you can hand pour pretty much any soft plastic lure and make it super soft, but to actually give it detail as far as scales and eyes and gill plates are concerned, it's truly remarkable and innovative. Really, nobody on the market has done this. Over here, this is one of their shades of Ayu. This is one of the shades of Wagasaki over here. These baits come in two different sizes, two and a half inch and three inch. It almost needs no action at all. 
Once you drop it down there, the movement of water will give the bait its own action and let it vibrate. These are super soft baits. Truly remarkable move. Now for the holy grail of all drop shot baits. It's the uh, Jacko Brothers Super Crosstail Shad. For the longest time, I wait, I've been waiting for these lures. My number one favorite drop shot bait is their U.S. version of the Crosstail Shad. And with the uh, detail that these baits give you, it's unbelievable. Let's take a better look. I have two Super Crosstail Shads over here. One in the IU color. One in the Wagasaki color, one of the shades of Wagasaki. We have them in two different shades in both colors. And then over here, I have the Super Pintail to show you the difference between the tails on them. The difference, the Super Crosstail Shads have a rudder back here, which gives the bait a ton of action, keeps it nice and straight. Even when you're not giving it action, it's so soft that it's constantly moving in the water. And now from the company that made Japanese lures famous throughout the world, Lucky Craft, we brought over three special edition Japanese custom bass colors in the Pointer 78. You take a look at this color. This is their, it's almost like a hologram bluegill. It's got the bars on the back, green top with a green flake on the top. And on the belly, you have a silver belly with a little purple right underneath the gill plates. The second color we got is a very light, like a libation IU, kind of yellowish sides. It's got the uh, yellow right along the gill plate, but it also has a flashy, silvery kind of uh, pearl belly on it. Not as, a, as much of a green top as their uh, uh, pearl IU color. One of the other colors we have is their Ghost Minnow. Well, it's like the Ghost Minnow, but the difference between this and the regular Ghost Minnow, it's got a hologram. So it's got a very flashy inside. So there's almost a little purple, pink hue to it. Some of the other great lures that we brought in from Japan, at least Global Tackle, in this shipment, were the wild chem chem jigs by Noki. These are small two and a half gram jigs, round ball head, no weed guard, small hook, and they have a hand tied skirt and actually the front of the skirt is trimmed up a little bit to stick out quite a bit. We also have some of uh, the newer colors on our evergreen buzzer beaters. This is almost like an aurora black with a red belly. I apologize for the flash but if you take a look at some of the pictures on the website, it'll give you a lot better view of the detail of these baits. This is their Blue color. We also received a uh, few reels. We have the uh, Shimano Aldebrand MG, the Aurora, uh, Abu Garcia Revo Aurora Elite in both left-handed and right-handed. And we also have the Mega Bass Levito Spinning Reel, which looks very similar. It's a custom. It's it's a custom made reel uh, for Mega Bass. So take a look at our shipment on the internet. We'll have everything up within a couple of days, and hope you enjoy it. Thank you.